Hey everyone, Chaz here, and I've got some exciting news for everyone. So, if you remember back in 2009, uh, March 2009, I started a walkthrough of a little game in PlayStation Home called Z. Now, I know back then I pronounced it XI, and I was wrong. Um, the, the game was called Z, this like Roman numeral thing. So, I done Z. I done an entire walkthrough of everything there was to do in the game. Absolutely everything to do, and I done an entire walkthrough of it. And I done all the puzzles, uh, as you can see over here. I'll show you um, on my desk here. I have my trophies from Z. Uh, I have my Butterfly Master trophy, which was this one for collecting all the, all the butterflies. I also have my Fragment Master Trophy, which was for collecting all the fragments, and the XI Trophy, oh sorry, the Z Trophy for completing the entire game, um, so you get that, so that was cool. So I'd done that, and I completed Z, and done an entire walkthrough of everything, and I thought it was a very, very cool game, I enjoyed it a lot. And so, what I've done now is I'm going to start Z Continuum, which is the sequel to Z uh, from back in 2009. Uh, this one's called Z Continuum. Now, the game comes out tomorrow on the 12th of December. And I will be doing a walkthrough of Z Continuum as well. And I'll be doing it just like I did last time. I'll be doing walkthroughs of every single thing there is to do in the game. And it's going to be awesome. And I'm going to post the videos every day. So you're going to see them. You're going to get to know what to do. And if you're stuck, you can come to my videos for help. And you'll be able to see what you can do. Uh, there's, there's a stapler. The old, old friend. So yeah. What I'm going to do. Uh, I'm also wearing my Z t-shirt. Which is cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make walkthrough videos every day of all the challenges to do and it's going to be awesome. Now I'm going to sort of explain sort of uh, some things about the the game that uh, just to sort of get everyone into it and just to sort of explain a bit about what it's about. Now no one no one really knows exactly what it's actually about. Um all we know is that there's this character called Eat Flaming Death that is going around home and causing havoc and stuff like that and we basically need to catch them and stop them now the Eat flaming death avatar is a girl but we don't actually know if it's a girl or a boy or whatever you know um but that's really all the information we have at the back at the moment is there's someone causing havoc and setting fires in home you may have seen the fires around playstation home they're, they are quite everywhere. There's, there's small fires and burning embers um, around home, so that's quite an interesting thing to see. Um, and I was sort of really interested to see where this is going to go now, because I did really enjoy uh, Z the first time around, so I'm really looking forward to this tomorrow. So, I'm going to explain a bit, uh, a few things about the game first. So, with the original Z, if you didn't start from the beginning, then you missed out. So say you started a week later than when Z started, you missed out an entire week of content that you could have gone through and partic participated in. This time it's completely different. If you start a week later, you will be able to start from the beginning still. So no matter when you start, if you start on day one, if you start the week after, the month after, whenever. You can start Z whenever you'd like, and you'd still be able to follow from the beginning, which I think is awesome addition, because I know a lot of people weren't able to take part or didn't want to take part once you, we'd sort of gone halfway through. So I think that that's awesome, um, that you can start whenever you'd like, and you can just get everything in the game without having to sort of rely on other people for help or um, well not, not necessarily help but I mean to sort of tell you what you missed and things like that so whenever you want to you can start the game and you can play from beginning to end not all in one go obviously um, but if, if, if you start a week later then you can 
play that last week's content all in one go until the day that you that you're playing on and then the next day will be updated again and then you can play the next day's content so it basically follows the same principle as what happened last time every day the game updates you can play that update on the day it comes out or whenever you'd like to play that get that update so that's one of the the uh the sort of perks in the game is that you can start on the first day and that every day they'll have more challenges or whatever puzzles to do um, so you can have a play live on the day or you can play it a week later it's entirely up to you you can play at your own pace which I think is awesome so now let's talk about pricing yes pricing there is a charge for Z continuum now I'll tell you the reason why the reason why there's a charge this time around is because the first Z was funded by Sony. So Sony funded the entire project and m was able to make it available for free to everyone. So now that that was ended, they've now gone on their own and they've created Z Continuum and you have to pay for the game. But I'm going to tell you how much the price is, the pr although the price is still it still says the price is to be confirmed um, but this is from the Z Continuum website so it's sort of a rough idea of what it's going to be when it launches tomorrow uh, tomorrow morning so the pricing for the UK is 5.99 which I think is really reasonable for what you get and, and I'll explain what you get in a second uh, in US dollars is seven ninety nine and in Euros it's six ninety nine and that's for the game plus well it's it's what they're calling the agent pack which included is the game so you get access to the entire XI continuum game and you get to be part of the first chapter of the game so what that means is you you can play the entire Z continuum which is this game for 5.99 or 7.99 or 6.99 depending on where you come from and that's all they have at the moment which they're calling chapter 1 if the game is successful then next year or whenever they'll create Z3 or whatever it's going to be called back you know then so what you get is you get the access to the whole XI, uh, sorry Z continuum game and next you get is the Vertigo apartment which is apparently the biggest apartment in PlayStation Home that's ever been created in PlayStation Home. You get the biggest apartment. And the apartment has different sections. So once you start the game up, you'll have a certain section of the apartment you can explore. And as the game progresses on, you can then unlock different parts of your apartment as you complete the game which I think is pretty good so the, the more you play the more you'll be able to experience of your apartment and of the game of course <clears throat> you get a flying robot companion now it's not specified which flying robot that is but it would be awesome if it was some sort of stapler sort of reborn into like a new version of himself so we don't exactly know what the flying robot is but that's that's what you get you get a flying robot companion you also get 10 in-game associates to fight for you in single player and multiplayer combat games that's right there's combat games in Z so I'm all these details are very vague about what the single player and multiplayer combat games are but we don't exactly know what they are but we will find out once we play the game and I'll find out and I'll be, I'll be recording them as I am now and so We'll find out as we go along, but you get 10 in-game associates to fight for you in single-player and multiplayer combat games. I don't know if those in-game associates expire, or once you use one, then you have nine left or so on. I, I don't know the details. You also get a teleporter active item, which means an active item is like this. With stapler, I can interact, and he says stuff, and, you know you have things that you can sort of interact with uh, like the, the coffee table you can play pawns things like that that's an active item 
same as the Namco or like the Namco Museum uh, vending, uh, not vending machines, the uh, arcade machines. So that's what you get. You get a, a teleporter active item, which allows you to jump into Z Continuum from any personal space. So every single one at one of your apartments you can place this active item somewhere in the world like I have done with stapler you can then activate the item and it will take you straight to that space without you having to go to the navigator and f try and find the space from here because there are a lot of spaces around so whoops so that al that allows you to do that without having to go through the navigator you can just walk up to the item press it press play or select or whatever and you can join into X continuum from there. I don't know what the item is going to look like, but that's what it's going to be. So, uh, of course, Z is exclusive to PlayStation Home, so you won't be able to play the game unless you're on PlayStation Home and unless you you buy the game for five ninety nine or whatever you put you pay. But I think that five ninety nine is entirely worth what this experience is going to be if it's anything like the original experience that I played. Um, if you want to check out the the, the original Z, there is an, uh, a playlist on my channel of I believe 67 videos that I did um, of like every weekday that there was an update. I've done videos every single day without fail. I was I was uh, adamant on keeping up with that sort of spectacle. So I'm going to be doing that again every day for a week. So for Z Continuum, you get the access to the whole of the game, you get the biggest apartment in PlayStation Home, it's called the Vertigo Apartment, you get the Flying Robot Companion, 10 in-game associates to fight in single player and multiplayer games for you, and you get the teleport active item which allows you to jump into uh, the Z Continuum game at any personal space you own. So, yeah, that's that. So, um, what next? So. Z starts tomorrow on the 12th of December and it runs for I believe 47 days don't 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 quote me on that um, I'm just sort of I'm browsing around the um, PlayStation Home uh, Z forums now um, so I'm just see, seeing if I can sort of get up to speed uh, on, I'm, I'm just going to check to see if it is 47 days. I'm not entirely sure, but okay, it doesn't say. I think it's 47 days, or it's 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 in the it's in the 40 region anyway. So you get 40 plus days of content, which I'm sure is going to be more than enough content to play around with because it was last time. It was amazing. We had two and a half months, three months of content uh, for nothing, so to have it this time is going to be even amazing, so what I'm going to show you now is once the game launches tomorrow and you purchase your game, now I'm not sure if the game is going to be able to be purchased from the PlayStation Store or it will be purchased, or if you can purchase it from the access point at which you access the game, but I'm going to show you how you access the game now, you may have noticed that there's these Zoff Cola vending machines uh, throughout PlayStation Home. You use them to access Z Continuum, and they they are scattered around Home. Uh, I'm, I haven't particularly looked for specific areas and where they are, but I know where one of them is, which is the one I'm going to be using just because it's linked to the company that made the game anyway. So why does it take us so long to load? It's weird. Anyway, so you will need these. Here we go. So I'm going to go into the Aurora space. And this is loading up now. So this is where I'm going to access Z Continuum from uh, every day of the week. And this Aurora, Aurora space is made by End Dreams, same company that's making Z. So I just thought it'd be, you know, more convenient or sort of better to sort of start from the home. Uh, I should say. So, this is where I'm going to be starting. This is the Aurora home space uh, in PlayStation Home. And as you can see, there are. Sorry, I said Zoff last time. It's, is it Zoff or Cough? No, it is Zoff. Yeah, I was right. So, you get Zoff Cola machines. Now, you can't access them, they don't do anything. 
at the moment they're solid objects they are useless at the moment I'm assuming tomorrow that when you start up the game or PlayStation Home and you've bought your whatever and you've bought the game then you'll be able to come here and it'll have an option to the machine will be activated and it'll have an option to actually use it so that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow I'm going to be coming to here I'm going to be buying the game and I'm going to be playing through Z Continuum every step of the way with you guys every step of the way if you need any help at all leave some comments in, down below and we'll get to that and we'll see how I can help you so I think this video has gone on quite long enough now so Z Continuum guys I'm very very excited for this game um, I can't wait for tomorrow uh, remember guys 5.99 if you haven't got 5.99 in your PlayStation wallet I suggest you either buy a PlayStation Network voucher or link up a credit card or debit card to PlayStation Network and purchase it through that way because it's 5.99 you won't need to add funds to your wallet it will just take 5.99 of the card which is, I think is good so there's that you access Z Continuum through these Zoff Cola bottles or uh, Zoff Cola machines what I'll do is I'll post the um, at the end of this video you will see the Z Continuum trailer which is the trailer that was released this morning I believe uh, and you can see that and that will sort of give you a bit more insight into about what it's about it's not a hell of a lot of, it's, it's only about 40 seconds I think of of uh, video but it's there for you to enjoy and I hope you guys will in, uh, join me for Z Continuum starting tomorrow I can't promise exactly what time of day it will be up because I do have things to do um, first but I will be getting Z Continuum done every day and starting from Christmas these videos will be in high definition which is awesome so you can look forward to that the standard, instead of this standard definition rubbish you can enjoy high definition full clarity 1080p goodness um, of PlayStation Home Z Continuum so who look someone's posted party in the XI museum which is probably so let, let's, let's, let's just pop there I mean I don't know what's happening but it's probably my favourite actually yeah, let's just pop there see what happens. So, I'm going to be doing the Z Continuum videos tomorrow, starting tomorrow, every day, until it finishes. I really do hope you guys will join me for this adventure uh, again. And here is the old hub. Um, the old. This is the Z Museum. So, tomorrow look forward to the videos every day and keep up to date on them because uh, I'm going to be putting a lot of work into these and I really do hope you, you uh, join me for the continuum I hope you enjoy the videos as they come out I really hope you stick with me if you need any help just leave questions on the videos you need help with and I will get straight to answering them as soon as I see the, the, the comments so thanks for watching guys you will see the trailer at the end of this video and I just hope you join me tomorrow for it's going to be an exciting couple of weeks five weeks so yeah go, well uh, about seven or eight weeks I think it's going to be seven weeks I think <laughs> anyway thanks for watching guys Three years ago, we ran a series of cognitive and virtuosity programs. These programs were known to you as Z. Five weeks ago, the security measures that were put in place as a result of Z were exceeded by this girl. You've all witnessed the work of Eat Flaming Death. She's been elusive, but we finally managed to follow her by constructing these portal seekers. Approach one, press X, and in a few moments, it should unearth a rabbit hole into the continuum. What's the continuum? Find Eat Flaming Death and stop her, whatever it takes. I wish it wasn't under these circumstances, but it's good to be back.
I'll contact you on the other side.